Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast of the round of 32 game one matchup between Rock, who won his group, versus Jacek, who was runner up in his group. This is a very tough match for Rock. It's, we've got an orc mirror. Um, you know, it's, anything can happen. Uh, two bangy teams. And looking at this, this is sweltering heat. So I, I can deduce that Jacek has definitely won the toss, chosen to receive. Rock's team is green faction, and he's finally fate painted them green, so that's great. They look uh, look very green. It does have default coaching staff, which is a bit sad. Whereas, uh, yep, Yatsik's got these cream and black guys. Look quite all right. And I can tell you a little bit about these two chaps, if you bear with me. Rock. Is Spanish and qualified through the season four official ladder, and Jacek is Polish and qualified through the season four official playoffs. So two ladder boys here, who probably played orcs on the ladder because ninety percent of the top hundred do. So <laughs> very experienced orc players, no doubt. They've both got the troll for the uh, bash matchups. They've both got a leader thrower, so they can get the third reroll and the 12th player. So they've both taken the same player's roster. However, in terms of skills, Rock has three guard biggins, whereas Jacek has four guard biggins. But Rock has a mighty blow. Jacek doesn't. They've both got a tackler, which is useless in this match. And they both got the leader. So, almost a pure mirror match. The only difference is a guard instead of a mighty blow. And uh, I feel like that should have been... I, and I know I've got Dark Elves, right? But I just think the tackle just isn't that good. I really think the tackle isn't that good. Call me crazy, but I just think a tackle just isn't that good. I'm pretty sure it was Rock that won his group. Let, let's have a, just a little check. Yeah, Rock won his group. Yatsik was second. So this is this is one of the tougher tougher games I think in the first round. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's the thing. Uh, that is the thing indeed. Yes, PC. Yeah, there's, there's no Amazons, right? If Amazons were in Blood Bowl three, then um, then I would I would be on board with a tackler. Absolutely on board with a tackler. If Blood Bowl three had um, Amazons, I mean Amazons and vampires, but. Particularly Amaz Amazons is enough to, to make it a choice. Wow, it gets an instant Kaz. It's 37.5% to work, so I don't think we're going to see an Apple. And we don't. These bribes could decide the match as well, couldn't they? The random, uh, the random get the ref there. <laughs> Oh my god. A, a KO and he apples the KO on this blitzer, a skillless blitzer, who's now surely going to get gang fouled. Interesting decision. I mean, if not this turn, then next turn. Did you, Big Chi Chi? I've got no idea what's next season. If it's done on order of releases, tabletop releases, it would be corn. And I would assume that, in you know, without any evidence one way or the other, I would, uh, I would assume that it would they would do the things that they had the most warning about. But 
I mean, that's from a, com a, a state of complete ignorance. <laughs> yes, it makes sense, doesn't it? They've been out the longest. You've had the most time to do them. So, if you were thinking of a plan of action, it could very much be, let's add teams in the order they're released. <laughs> but maybe that's not what they're doing. Gnomes and snot ones. Yeah, yeah, I've I've played two games on Thunder with Vampires and I hated them both, so <laughs> But I didn't have skills on them, right? So Oh we've got we've got a flaming head look. The mighty blow has got the flaming head cosmetic. Glorious. And the other the others don't. The other blitzes just look normal. But the mighty blower got a flaming head. ODL check? No. Fine. Other side? Fine. <laughs> Mighty Blow Blitz does nothing. It's funny that the team with Mighty Blow has done nothing, and yet the team without Mighty Blow has made two Made two removals, the one was Apple. To be fair, he does have a mighty blow, he's got the troll right. <laughs> it's honestly, honestly big cheat cheat. There's been no mention of uh, trying to do this at all. Glorious. I just did it. No, I won't give in. Oh, Until I'm victorious. Problem. No, he doesn't. And I will defend. I will defend. Wheels in up push. Thank you very much, Dwyer. Staying fantastic for six glorious months. Oh yeah. Oh, and Satra, if he's still around. Sorry, I didn't actually. I didn't thank Satra for the property because I was playing a game or something. No. It's a long, it's a long time ago now, but thanks Satra for however many beavers it is. I think I was sorting out the game with Chunks when I. Was. Um, it's eight UTC, um, frat of pork ones, and it's not eight yet. It's, it's eight minutes past seven right now. I do fancy the orcs to win. Oh, actually, I, I think a draw. Though, funnily enough, thanks to NAF stats, we can say there's about a 25% chance of a draw. I thought it would have been higher. And maybe it's higher between equally skilled coaches, you'd think. But in Super League, we had a 21% of games, or 22% ending draws. So that seems quite consistent. About 24% games ending in draws. I wouldn't, see, I wouldn't go that far, so, um, but yeah, it was, it was, I did, I did Super League and I did NAF for the year 2024. Um, the thing with Euroball is Euroball's different because drawing's incentivized, isn't it? Drawing is incentivized in, in Euroball, uh, to an extent, to an extent. To an extent, people are told you can just get a draw here and, you know, Sol will win and we'll win the ground, right? Like, really, if, if you're the coach, if you're the coach of Team America, you say, right, you seven guys, you all draw, Sol wins, we win the round, right? Things like that. Or you can say, oh, look, um, you know... Player X is definitely going to lose. That means one of us three needs to win and hope the other four, the other three can draw, whatever, stuff like that. Yeah. And like, you know, if, if let's say, Jay leaves losing 
and Saul was expected to draw, then everyone can say, oh no, you look, you who's using Wood Elves, you've got to try for the win. But the guy with Orcs can't, he's still got to try and get the draw, right? Because he just can't try and get the win. So I'm sure like Wood Elves won a higher percentage in in, in Eurobowl because they were the team that was trying to get the win most of the rounds, right? Anyway, things are happening. They're, they're smashing into each other. <laughs> it's Orcs. <laughs> it's an Orc mirror. So far, Rock is not having the best dice here. This is a weird one, is it? Because obviously positioning matters. It's not. It's not just dice rolls. As much as you can laugh and say it's all dice rolls, there is still a lot of positioning in bash versus bash mirrors. But there's also a lot of dice. Like you know, you, you're trusting the look of the two DBs and the armor breaks and the injuries. It feels like you've got less agency. I feel. Whether I'm wrong or not, who knows. Matt Damon. It just feels a bit worse, I think, the, the Bash games. Now, I don't think either Rock or Yatsik is particularly, like, you know, miles better than the others, right? I think they're very close together in coach skill. They might both think they're better than the other, or one of them might think they're substantially better or whatever, but to me, I don't think one of them is miles better than the other. But if one was miles better than the other, it's still going to be tough, right? The old mirror, like this, they just don't have that much wiggle room for play. Whereas if, like, if it was Dark Elves versus Orcs, then maybe the better elf player could do something cool and play better. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> I know that he wants to foul here, that's for sure. No, well, good luck, so choose. Gets AV break. He's like getting the, the AV breaks, isn't he? That's like in this drive. Like he did receive, so he got like the uh, he got the initial advantage of making the first hits, the tempo advantage. Um, but still, it's a lot of this is just dice, isn't it? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know, Christopher B. Nobody knows. It's a sweltering heat. Actually, big Chi Chi sweltering heat. So, um, there's going to be more dice than ever in this game. If somebody loses three guard biggins and the other one loses, you know, two, well, no, they've got to lose the same numbers, haven't they? Someone could lose two linemen and the other could lose two guard biggins, and then that could be a huge swing. Yeah, like the thing about Blood Bowl is nobody knows for sure things, right? And, and we won't know until we get Blood Bowl Stockfish. Which we're probably never going to get. But if we did, then we could know things. But until then, it's just people's opinions. Do I think my opinion's pretty good? Yeah. But I guess most people think their opinion's pretty good. Which is why they decide to try and give advice on Reddit. <laughs> so... So, you know, <laughs> there is that. <laughs> it is as it is. Hello, it is as it is. Long time no see. Lots of people are coming back from the World Cup. Lovely to see. Hello, for the Slayer. Surprised not to see a foul there, honestly. I would have really liked to have given this... Uh, Giving this Blitzer a dig with a bribe, four assists. I 
Yes, yes, basically. Like, it could happen, right? It could happen if, you know, computers got better <laughs> and cheaper and stuff. Like, if the, if the technology to do it was, like, very simple, then it would happen, right? But at the moment, nobody's going to spend time and money on it, are they? So it ain't happening. No matter how possible it would be, it doesn't really matter because no one's going to spend the time and money on it. Some people think it's not possible. Some people think it's very possible to get, like, you know, something good. I'm completely ignorant about all of it. But I'd like a computer that would just say, this is the best thing. <laughs> I'd like that. Though I guess it would take a lot of the fun out because people would just consult it, wouldn't they? So maybe it's best that it doesn't happen. <laughs> Very good, Christopher B. I mean, their AI doesn't need to be good, right? Their, their AI needs to let a beginner player learn how to play. If a computer just told you all the best plays, then we couldn't even have this competition, would we? We'd all just have it open, doing what the computer told us to do. <laughs> so that would really suck. <laughs> that would really suck. That it wouldn't, you know, like if if the AI was was better than humans, none of us would play our own way. So we just say, oh, no, computer knows best, doesn't it? <laughs> so that would be it. Is cheating rampant on chess? It surely must be, right? Cheating must surely be rampant. On like chess and poker. It's got to be. I mean, it could be solved in the, the randomness. I hear that the randomness doesn't really matter because it just uh, just works it out. I think. And then chess is a big issue. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't want a a, a perfect AI for football, but it'd be cool if you could have like you know, absolute beginner. If you could have like grades of AI, right? So like one played like it is now. <laughs> and then you could have one that like played like a bronze coach. And then one that played like a gold coach. And one that played like a platinum coach or whatever. And then, you know, that would be all right, wouldn't it? And you got a different styles ones. It'd be cool if you could have like loads of crazy AIs. But yeah, if you wouldn't want one that just played perfectly to play against. Because you just lose a lot. Yeah, they play too perfect, yeah. It's a good point, Christopher B. The only winning move is not to play. How do you cheat at poker? Just by having, like, programs, right? Surely there's programs that people have to cheat at poker. Just tells them what the best thing to do is mathematically. Yeah, a few million. I mean, that's the thing. Nobody's going to do that, are they? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I've seen that BB joke. Like, it's not cheating, but it's cheaty, right? Like, it's not. There's lots of things like that. It's, there's lots of software for poker that, like, you have to use because other people are using them. And even if it's not cheating, you just have to use all of these tools, right? Otherwise, you're shooting yourself in the foot. It's stupid. Oh yeah, and yeah, obviously, yeah, the full, the full cheating, yeah. But like, just playing perfectly, right? I'm sure like an AI can play poker perfectly, right? By now, I'm sure by now there's a there's a AI that can play poker perfectly. Surely. Oh, troll fails a stand up. I mean, it's mostly just find two Ds, right, and then and then try to cover breakthroughs. You two D everything you can, beat off as many men as you can, so you're not giving up blocks on your own turn, and then uh, try to go somewhere. Like try this, just stand in the way. It's, it's. I mean, it's not thrilling to commentate on, is it? Let's be honest. You need to beat off the other orcs, right? Like I don't like this follow because. I, I just want I just want to see this all get beaten off, right? I don't, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's hard to. Uh... <laughs> and so you know, so like now this guy's just gonna get punched in his next turn, right? You just gotta make sure your orcs don't get punched, right? I think that's the biggest thing. You just gotta you've gotta punch their guys and not let your guys get punched. So to do that, you beat them off so that, you know, you're <laughs> they're unbased. Both sides are unbased. Then they've both been beaten off, haven't they? So that's what you need to do. Disengage, essentially. <laughs> oh my god, he hit the ball! What the hell?! It was a dodge double rush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, was he just stood up here? Where was he? he made a double dodge. Oh, it was a four. He was he was on the ground. He just went one, two, three, rush, rush. Holy moly. He hasn't been knocked over. Oh my god, for three dice hasn't knocked him over. The hero orc. Oh my god, if he doesn't power him here. <laughs> He's already in trouble. This is like destroyed his position. Three players. Okay, wow. Would have been a dub skull. Has to stay put and has to control this this uh, blitzer as well and everybody's based wow what a what a great four plus three plus from look if you smell what he's cooking that was incredible that was much better than talking about whether an ai solved poker or not i mean it's not about the percentages it's about like playing the tendencies and exactly how much to bet and stuff like that right the, you know the the correct ev and all that kind of thing and pot commitment and just all sorts of things there's lots of things to calculate when you're playing poker like you know what what you know all the bet sizing and that i'm sure like ai could just do all of that right i'm sure AI could just solve poker really uh, really well yeah wrong position the lineman yeah if the lineman was here it would have been like a six four three okay so it's a four plus to one d i mean he's definitely going to go for this he went for a Honestly, he probably should have gone here or, or like rushed, right? He probably should have doubled. Where was he? Was he up here? One, two, three, four. Why hasn't he come down to here? He's obviously going to four plus again. He's obviously just going to four plus again. He did it last turn. Why wouldn't he do it this turn? Game theory optimized. All right. So it, it does exist there. Yeah. 
There you go. Well, apparently you're on Gold Stacker because it's called PTO. <laughs> yeah, but you would lose more often than not, Punter. You know, of course it's not going to win 100% of the time, but it's going to play better than any human, right? In the long run. Exactly, there we go, Cosmic. Yeah, that's the point. That's the point. So, surely people are like cheating with that, right? In poker now. So that makes it pretty boring and not something I want to do. Oh, he can just surf him. He can just surf him, can't he? Surfing this guy is pretty good, actually, rather than hitting the ball. He can just. Well, why is this guy here? He can be surfed. Why is this guy here? Why didn't this guy come here? He could just surf him. Which one's which? Is this his troll? He's got to stand up the troll, isn't it? Something. Well, he can four plus hit the ball, or he can just surf this guy. Oh, he blitzed with the troll! He blitzed with the troll and rolled a one. Oh my goodness. Well, I hate. I hate that. <laughs> I think you have to surf the uh, blitzer. Or try and hit the ball again. Oh my god, uphill, double uphill pals. Thank you very much. Incredible. Wow, really, Cosmigo? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Wow. He's arguing about AI with the fans. <laughs> no, I can do better than a computer at poker. <laughs> And he's like, shut up or I'll cut you. Oh my god, the hand's moving. Why is the hand moving? Jesus. There's a bit of a switch on here, potentially, right? With three turns left. Lob it and run. Isn't that terrible? Invested in the old mirror. And the extra guards. I mean, they, I think the extra guards are good for for Yatsik, especially as like you can just randomly roll better, right? Like as good as guard, as good as Mighty Blow is, you can just randomly roll better in Blood Bowl. Ooh. Do you know what I liked? I like powering him to here and then standing there and then you've stranded his troll, you've three dice this guy and then you've got the pass, run the flip away. That's what I like doing, but that's not what he's done. I guess he's gonna like try and cage somewhere, somehow. Maybe just keep behind the line, right? Just stand there. Halloween iron. Nope. 
Another removal. See, this thing, he's just made these random removals, right? He's made two kills and the card is just without mighty balls. Like. Okay, he's gonna play. I mean, the removal makes this cage look a lot better. Oh, Troll's gone stupid. Wait, did he try to re-roll that? No. No, he just didn't re-roll. That troll going stupid. Doesn't really change anything, does it? <laughs> I kind of hate that he pushed this uh, big one here, though. Like, he could have pushed it up there. That was way better, because now we can stand up and get the troll. Maybe try the troll blitz again. Rock's got to be thinking he can maybe stop the score here, but he's got to get he's got to get across in numbers, hasn't he? This is the this is the problem. There will be an Aryan, but um, the final eight, right? We're in we're in the round of thirty-two right now, so the quarterfinals will be compressed over one weekend um, exactly the same as the season two finals Hello. oh my god he's done it again unbelievable terrible trolls and then a one in nine Flip me. These trolls. Maybe they're not good even in the mirror. I don't know. Two mish failed like five in a row versus me, didn't he? I think. play is still on right and he can actually get a lot of things over as well so this is pretty dangerous for uh, Yatsa he didn't do enough what I would have done is th this big and who blitzed up there would have then come back out and then I've got a 2d on him right to secure the edge that's what I would have done I didn't like I like the chain but I didn't like moving him there afterwards I would have moved him up to here He's thinking about the reroll, isn't he? Maybe he should have done it. Because this is looking hard to do anything right now. Well, who knows about me? It's a it's a great advert for the game, though. Um, so that's great, isn't it? Seen a lot more interest. Loads of old faces back in. Maybe it'll get tabletoppers interested. Like Nabolo. Fifty six games unbeaten. I like that it's tabletop format, right? As much as I don't think tabletop is the best format possible, I think it's a good idea having it. You know, kind of table top, table top format to maybe get those guys in. This really needed to be a power, didn't it? That blitz. That's why I like doing it last turn, so you've got the 3D with a troll. I mean, you went stupid, but. It would have given you two chances to clear it then if you'd gone for it last turn. 
Now he's just going to get him in as his sole scoring threat. And he double won the rush. Oh dear. And he's not in range. So... It's just... Uh, it's just this one he's got to deal with. So after being on top for all that drive, out removing Rock, he just, you know, didn't get it done. And uh, Rock can try to get a scoring threat of his own, can't he? Potentially. Can we move this match right to the kicks? Nil, 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 nil kicks. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? I think round two, I think their second, I think the second game of this might be done as a replay. <laughs> yeah, the crazy sack, maybe. Maybe it caused a lot of pressure, didn't it? Maybe, I'll, for whatever the reason, I'll, don't be a dick about it, okay? <laughs> whatever the reason is, we've got it. Let's just appreciate that we've got a great tournament, that Nacon and Sinai still care about the game, and good things are happening, right? Positive gym. Oh, he can troll blitz. Because that's worked out so well for him. Because <laughs> it's not easy, man. Oh, mirror. It's like, it's a war. And he did have to divert a lot when, when, that, when that blitzer made the 4 3 one d 4 3 2 2 one d he just diverted so much back. He's got the pow. And the AV break. Got to dodge this guy out, right? Like, you can double rush. You can dodge a double rush and you've got to score. No way you don't. 13, no, 16. He's 16 away. No, that was so wrong. I mean, is it? I, I, I mean, it didn't matter. You've got to dodge. You literally have to dodge double rush. You can get to here, and then next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. You've got to try it, right? Not just do a one D. He literally can't score unless he ch does insane chains. Oh my god, maybe he can score. No, he powered. No, he can't score at all. He, he, he had to dodge the bull rush. But, never mind. Uh, no goblins, no. They've both taken the same roster of uh, the 12th man is an alignment. The problem with Blood Bowl 2, really the only problem with Blood Bowl 2 was it being like the old rules, right? It was like the rules we'd had since like 2010 or whatever, and then we didn't get the new rules in 2016. That was the biggest thing on Blood Bowl 2. Just being a completely out of date rule set. And then uh, Blood Bowl 3. Yeah, the launch was atrocious. But you know, it has improved. They're still improving it.
<laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, it is better than it was. And who knows if they stick with it and keep updating it. Maybe they'll like do something, you know, like Legendary Edition again. Like the Blood Bowl 2 Legendary Edition and you know, maybe that could be like a, a second release. Could give them a something that could you know, reinvigorate when all the races are out, maybe. It's funny because, you know, you've got like, the, the things that I'm interested in, everybody always seems to think they know better than the people doing the things, right? And, uh... Everybody all seems to think they know better, but then they've all got different ideas. And they've all got different ideas of how to make it better and what the problem is and stuff, so it's not easy. The fundamental problem is that Blood Bowl, the board game, is really long and has lots of feel-bad things about it, right? That's like, that's a hard thing to get round as a video game, especially when you've got like, you know, mobile phone games and stuff that are just like scientifically engineered dopamine machines, right? And then this is like, you get diced on turn one and now you're stuck in the game for an hour and a half. Oh my God. Like, you know, like you get this happen. You're trolling your big ones out and you troll and your leader throwers out on your reception and your big and failed his KO roll and like you have seven players for your offensive drive and you're like, well, what a joke. <laughs> like, and so even if it was a perfect replication of Blood Bowl, these kind of things, <laughs> the general public is not going to be super excited about, are they? <laughs> <laughs> My god. And like... If the, the people who like Blood Bowl, you know, are kind of at peace with this sort of thing, but the general public, it's it's not a good it's not a good selling point when it happens to you. It's great to watch it happen to other people. <laughs> great to watch it happen to other people. We, we can laugh at both of these. <laughs> Thank god it's not happening to us. But, um... When you're playing the game, that's rough. That's really rough. Um, yeah, this predatory is the is the most overused word, buzzword there is. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I hate that. <laughs> and uh, hello, Mr. Raja, tabled up for life. Yep. Hello, Coach Seven Zero Nine. Yeah, exactly. It's ne I, I, people just tend to call anything with cosmetics and predatory. Is it? No, it's not. I mean, it's not greed. It's, it's not. It's just everything's greed. Like the the good thing is, the great thing is, everybody's happy, right? Everybody's happy, it, you know. That's the thing, right? Everything is optional. If they charge £10 for a flaming head, I think it's £7.50 for a flaming head, isn't it? Then, if you want one, you buy it. If you don't want it, you don't buy it. If they charge £2.50, maybe three times as many people buy, maybe they don't, right? But like it's okay, it just all works out, doesn't it? Hello Pedro, yeah, yeah, I'm playing tomorrow. I'm playing tomorrow. Maybe. Well, my first game tomorrow.
Like, that's it. It's just the way the world works, isn't it? Like, consumers want to pay as little as possible. <laughs> you know. Vendors want to sell for as much as possible. <laughs> and then they both agree on a price and that's what happens. Like, it's fine. It just is what it is. Exactly, Coach 709, yeah. I know, exactly, Pedro. It's weird. Would I like Greg's sausage rolls to be one pence each? Yes, I would. <laughs> but, you know, that's not, that's not what it is, is it? You know? Um, yeah. People can just do what they like. Yeah, the races. Yeah, overwrite the pitch graphics would be nice. That would be nice, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's the thing, right? Like, this, this option for red and blue is great, right? Because, you know, they are quite distinct, the black and white and the green. But if I was playing this game, I'd have it on red and blue so I can be absolutely sure which are my players and which are my opponents. And it's a great thing, and it's the same with the pitches, right? Like, some of them can look pretty or whatever, but at the end of the day, I want the human pitch so I can see what the hell's happening, right? Yeah, exactly, calcium, yeah. But I just don't, I just don't get when it's called predatory. There's nothing predatory about, like, it's just, it's just a buzzword. Like, I don't mind people not liking not liking uh, microtransactions and stuff like I don't like them I don't I don't partake in microtransactions right I just don't but but like I just what I don't like and people call things predatory like there's nothing predatory about anything what you're talking about it's just like it's just a buzzword that people like that's what I think anyway okay so I think we're gonna free up the big in here and then try and do something up there <laughs> thanks Thanks, Cosmigo. Honestly, it just grinds my gears. It may be, it may be it's, uh, maybe I uh, overreacted, but I just hear it all the time, all this predatory stuff, and it's like, dude, it's just, they're just selling things. <laughs> I mean, you could say it's predatory in that, like, if it's, you know, specifically targeted at children to, like, you know, try and con them and stuff. Like, you know, children to try and get their uh, parents' credit cards and stuff, I guess. But that's, like, that generally isn't how people use it. It's just like a buzzword that everyone's all predatory micro. They just say it all the time. Basically, you never see microtransactions written down without predatory in front of it. People just love saying it. Yeah, exactly, PC. And, and I bought micro. I've made micro transactions in games, right? I've uh, I've got things in Marvel Snap and Battle Brothers both times because I liked the game and thought I'll give them a few pennies. Like that's fine, isn't it? It's absolutely fine. But mostly I don't. Well, I say that. It, 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 that little thing. I mean, I just said micro. It was a micro in there. It wasn't much. It was like you played like a tenner or something for like a different banner. And I was like, okay, good. I'll, I'll, I'll give them a tenner because it's my favourite game ever. <laughs> It was like a skin, isn't it? I've got I've got sixteen hundred hours in Battle Brothers, I think. Yeah, support the dev things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, true, true. A frog lock corpse. That's fair. That's fair. But again, that's something that just they all do. That's the way of the world, isn't it? It's not especially egregious that. Uh, Sign I do. Oh my god. 
rocks down to six players. What are you? I bet you didn't expect this from an orc mirror, by the way. Six players <laughs> versus what? Eight? Oh my god! I bet Rock is loving that this is a best two and a half out of three right now because this has gone horribly for him. Horribly. I don't know, and there's, there's things like, you know, not this, funnily enough, but there's like things like, you know, the, the phone games and stuff. They have things specifically to try to get like addictive people addicted to them, don't they? You know, those kinds of things you can say are bad, right? Like trying to, you know, like all the, all the like, you know, programmed dopamine things and stuff. Like all of that kind of stuff. But this is just some, uh, here's some cosmetics, use them if you want. Don't if you don't. Teams cost a bit more. Yeah. It's fine. So I mean, I think being greedy is fine. Being greedy is fine, everyone's greedy. Everyone's greedy. No one's going to uh, Greg's and saying, how much does this sausage roll cost? One pound 20p? I'll give you one pound 30 because I'm so generous. No, no, because the customer's like saying, ah, if I go next door and get it a pound, I'll go next door then and say 20p. No, no one's bloody doing anything like that. Right? <laughs> I'm just saying everybody's greedy out. You know? Every shop's charging the most they can for things. Every customer's paying the little as they can for things. Everyone's like greedy to an extent. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Punter. Oh my god, the reloads thing! Do you remember that? The reloads thing. That was the that was the worst one. Um, there was some. There was some devs talking about like, you know, I don't know if it was like a leaked meeting or something or whatever it was. It was insane. It was like, it was like, uh, maybe it was like Battlefield or COD or something like that. And they were like, what if we have, like, if somebody's run out of bullets and they're in the middle of a firefight, they're desperate for bullets so we can just charge them to reload. <laughs> like that was horrendous. <laughs> That sort of thing was horrendous. I don't know which I don't know which game it was, but I, like I remember, I remember reading about it. Yeah, it wasn't implemented, but they talked about it. like they, that's what they were talking about. It's what they wanted to do. <laughs> it's what they wanted to do. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 it makes sense, yeah, just an idea, yeah, just an idea. They wanted to do it. Man, this is good from Rock. Anyway, let's, let's drop this. This is probably isn't a good thing to talk about. Let's, uh, let's try and drop it. Point is, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's not something like that, right? It's not something like pay a thousand warp stone for an extra reroll. Which, honestly, Rock would do right now. <laughs> Rock would definitely be getting out his uh, checkbook for a... Not checkbook, I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. Credit card. <laughs> I don't know why I said checkbook. I haven't used a checkbook in like 25 years. <laughs> I don't know why I said it. I'm not a pensioner. I haven't seen a checkbook in like... Do you know what? I... I, the last time I saw a checkbook, I don't know. I don't know. I saw a check from uh, my my uncle giving money to my mum like years ago. I haven't seen a check. For, I, I don't know the last time I saw it. I mean, that was the last time, but I don't know when I saw it. And I don't know when I saw a checkbook. 
<laughs> yes, uncle, like he's my mother's brother. <laughs> I haven't used a checkbook since World War II. That was such a weird thing to say, wasn't it? A checkbook. I think I was trying to say credit card and then didn't. <laughs> and said checkbook. <laughs> but there's some goals for it. Okay, so he has base of bowler strength four. He's got five turns with no re-rolls that he has to survive somehow. <sighs> it's bad, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he's got two extras. So you can blitz and come back, like there, I guess. No, I think it's better to be back here, right? It's definitely better to be in front. Oh, and he's just going to dodge. I guess he's going to dodge. If you put him in front, he could have blocked. Because then he'd have like a guard in front, right? So he couldn't get hit. So he's just, yeah, he's just going to dodge. Yeah, all it took was heat plus three removals. Check. It's C-H-E-Q-U-E in English. And C-H-E-C-K in America. <laughs> well done, fun. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, it is three removals versus one, but yes, the uh, the swelling heat has made it unplayable. Yeah. Yeah. Makes the dodge there. That's good. No, fails that one. So he's just gonna keep, keep getting hunted like this. I, this is quite a good little game of cat and mouse, actually. <laughs> Tom and who's Jerry? Yeah. Yatsik is definitely. Well, I don't even know who's Tom and who's Jerry on that. He's got pro. Oh, he's blitzing with him. So maybe maybe he splits these two now? No, he doesn't. He's all in down this side. Well, now he's gonna, he's just gonna... Maybe he shouldn't have gone to a corner. Maybe he should have just stayed here. So he could have gone either way. I mean, the thing is, in Tom and Jerry, the mouse always won. So, so it's a hard question to answer who's Tom and who's Jerry. Because uh, that's the opposite of how reality would go. Did get the pal. <laughs> yeah, long bomb without a reroll. Like he just can't escape, can he? If he rolls a six, he rolls a six. So he could just put this guy there or whatever. In fact, he could like blitz this guy free. Oh, yes. Look at this. 
He's got, like, this is, he's green, right? So he can blitz one, block the other, and then he's got this guy free, and then he can lob it to him, and it's like, whatever, he's going to need a six plus. But if he gets it, he's away and he's scored. Or he can try and do the same thing, but then, you know, get back and, like, run up and try and protect him as much as possible. That's his two choices, or try and run over it. It's hard, right? He's got to... He's got to do something. It's so hard. He's just going to lob it. Is that a pass action? Yeah, a pass action. Animosity! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Nah, I don't think I will. <laughs> He's tragic. Oh, he's done the blitz though. That does help a bit. It means he's got to blitz him rather than uh, like he's got to blitz him, just blitz him rather than blitz him or block. I guess. Or well, maybe not. No, no, because this push. Oh, this is no. He's, he's absolutely screwed. No, oh, this is a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare for. Uh, for the rock. Oh wow, it worked. It worked. It worked because I hate this. I want to free a guard and put the guard in and then blitz him back into the pro, right? But, um, he's got plenty of time, I guess. He's not in a rush, is he? That's like he's got loads of time. Whereas uh, Rock is done. That was a brutal. That was a brutal animosity. Yeah. I mean, you know, he could have also just fumbled it as well, right? If it just been the pass, he'd have fumbled. So. <laughs> the hard part was having six players on the pitch. <laughs> no, I was just rolling all the dice now. He can he can do that, yeah. I think that's okay re-rolling that. And now you've completely, completely dominating where the ball is. And so you can, uh, you can get surfs and stuff and uh, pick it up and miss the throw and that's it. Man, imagine imagine if Rock right rolled a one on the animosity and then a pop-up came. Thousand warp stone for a re-roll? Yes. <laughs> Two. Rolls the pass. Rolls a four. Thousand warp stone for a re-roll. Yes. <laughs> Rolls a six. Two for the catch. Thousand warp stone for a re-roll. Yes. <laughs> the forty pound play that would have been hilarious, wouldn't it? Um, thank God it's not like that. <laughs> the blood balls. Are, it is kind of sevens, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be horrible. <laughs> that would be terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. What we've got is completely fine, I think. Okay, so a 1D for a push. And then he can uphill surf him. <laughs> yeah, I can't see it. It would be horrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, he's not so he's not uphill surfing him. Oh, he's gonna blitz with the other big one, right? He's gonna blitz with the other big one to try and get him in. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> put cyanide on the stuff. Right. <laughs> oh. See, so yeah, he was going to dodge this one. And then blitz this guy. And then bring the other big one in. I like that. As much as you can like anything in this godforsaken position. So maybe... Maybe Yatik didn't have that much time. Because now, this isn't... I mean, it's still pretty good for him, but it's not... It's not the best for him. I mean, it's still pretty good. Yeah, this is the blitz. And he gets the pow. And now the big one can pick it up. <gasps> he didn't block with that guy. No way. He kind of had to pick up the ball first. <laughs> he's got pro, he's got pro for the pickup. He's got pro for the pickup. Now, does he just rush and win? Or does he uh, hope that Rock doesn't roll some dice and get him? He could have screened it, couldn't he? He could have, he could have, he could have fully screened if he'd uh, blocked with the other one. He could have powered it. He could have had it fully screened, which I liked. I liked fully screening the ball. TBH. He's rolled all the dice. It's just a dodge, right? It's just a big and dodge, 2 DM. Nine UTC, well, 21 UTC, Pedro. 21 UTC. And if only he'd kept a reroll. I don't, I'm not saying it was easy for him to have done, but uh, he'd really like it right now, wouldn't he? <laughs> Fails the dodge. And now, Yatsik could just score, right? Because... If he scores now, it's a one-turn touchdown, which won't happen, or it's a timeout. But of course, now, with that dodge fail, there's a lot more stuff for uh, him to make it safe. Completely safe, probably. There's something to be said for just banging it in. But there is a chance that he uh, gets the timeout if you score. But if he gets the timeout, he's still got no rerolls. Like, this still looks pretty secure, doesn't it? I'd kind of be tempted to score, though, just, you know... Just because it's, like, scary. No arson, Bjork. It is uh, resurrection, so they get 
all injuries and SPPs, none can count. They just stay in this tabletop style. Like if you know tabletop tournaments are like this. And so we just stay in this state forever. Yeah, the timeouts are an amount of dice, but the the timeout is such a small amount of dice. Like it's such a low percentage. Like the timeout has to happen and then he has to score. Like that's so much lower than him doing some dice this turn, right? Unless he can't. Unless he's actually completely out of range. Well, four, four, three, four, three. He's basically out. I mean, he basically hasn't got a chance. So this was... The problem is what he can do is he can, like, base the ball maybe, right? But he did a pretty good job of making it hard to base the ball even. So that was that was a well-played turn by Yatsik, honestly. After, like, an hour and ten minutes of high-pressure blood ball, that's a pretty good t turn. Yes, look at it, yeah, yeah. No help. No, that's just stupid. Now it'll look a bit fairer after the match, <laughs> but uh, Yatsik had a bad first half and I think he did well to defend, to get into the half time at 0-0, but second half, he couldn't do it again, so unlucky Rock, honestly, commiserations to him, big advantage Yatsik going into round two. He, do, he, has, he has won the first game. If he draws in game two, he will win the confrontation. So there you go. All the advantages of Jacek. Rock has to go and beat him in 16 turns in the next match. So there you go. Um, congratulations at the moment to Jacek. Commiserations to Rock. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.